Oh, we love this verse, don't we? For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Some of us even have it framed in our homes or on a pillowcase somewhere because it just makes us feel so good. I mean, prosperity, wealth, and well-being all sound like a really good time. But is that really what the verse is saying? When we look at the context, we see that the people of Israel had strayed away from God, and they didn't listen to the warnings to turn from their old ways back to God. So he punished them, allowing them to be conquered by a foreign oppressive empire. Many false prophets went around telling people that their captivity wouldn't last too long, that their riches would be returned to them, and that God would take them out of it. And this is where Jeremiah steps in. He tells the people the exact opposite. To get comfortable, to have kids, to build houses, because you're going to be there for 70 years. 70 years? Yeah, 70 years. So how do we deal with Jeremiah 29 11 then? Well, God does have a plan for you, but that plan may be to have you struggle and go through a lot of crap for a long time. Things have been difficult for many of us, and maybe you felt like God is far away from you and your situation, but there may be something that God wants to work in us during these difficult times. Maybe we need to learn to depend on Him, to stop doing harmful things, or to repent and ask for forgiveness. Our circumstance may be something God has for us to learn something. Even if things are bad, it doesn't mean God forgets about us. He has a plan for us, and it may not be what we think, but we can put our trust in Him. God doesn't promise us health, money or prosperity, but what he does promise us is a future of communion and intimacy with him, whether it be in this life or the next.